one. It is February 4th, Sunday, and I am between, uh, between Parker, Arizona, and Earp, California, closer to Earp, with about, oh, good uh, dozen RTR people. Um, and I'm traveling with three or four other people, which is really cool. I wanted to show you guys what I've done. I, I took everything out of my van and vacuumed it out and did some more organizing. Okay, first of all, I got this chair. That's new because my other one broke. I got this table from Walmart. Ten bucks for the chair. Five bucks for the uh, table at Walmart. This little stool so I can get in and out of the... This little stool so I can get in and out of the van easier. Ten bucks. All right, so... Right now, I've got some shade stuff going on. I've got my uh, reflectives up in there. I cut some out to be up there. I got my fan running on my inverter. I have a charge on the battery enough to do that. Anyway, somebody gave me these. So I'm using them to hang a couple things. I've picked up, um, another person gave me another shower rod, so I now have three. Oop, sounds like there's an ATV going by. And hopefully they're going to slow down. They've been tearing through there. Okay, no, motorcycle. You asshole! Sorry. These guys, you know, they see people out here and they don't slow down. <laughs> okay, so, um, towels are great for shade. So here's my battery that I've, uh, I am actually hooked up to my inverter. <coughs> I charged it with my solar the other day. <coughs> All that dust is coming in. And, um, so it's charging. Okay, so, I mean, no, it's powering my fan. I can do either batteries or AC. Now, also, I went to town yesterday and I bought all the supplies I needed from Walmart uh, for the next month. I spent up too much money, but I needed these things. I'm using the, the Dometic without power to keep my fruits and vegetables in. Works great. I haven't had to run it yet because it's still cool enough. And I got this other little cooler to do uh, ice. I have milk, cheese, one pack of meat, and butter in there. Um, let's see what else is going on. Oh! Oh, look what we have here. We have a Salem. Say hi to your fans. Yep, that's the boo-boo. That's the boo-boo. I hope you guys are seeing this. I'm not used to this head one, uh, head mount one. All right. So let me continue. I'm trying to hurry because there's not much time left. Okay. If you noticed, I've got these hooks. Let me sit down. I can show them to you. All right. So these these hooks right here, I'm getting from the Dollar Tree. They're wonderful. They hang great from the shower rod cartons. They also hang over these edges here. I got these baskets all from the Dollar Tree. I need a couple more. Um. I picked up a sprayer. I'm going to use this, I think, to put some shampoo and water in. Or no, soap and water to give myself a shower. And the tea kettle I use for um, washing my hair. Okay, so today I went ahead and washed all my clothes and my bedding. Everything got washed. So... 
ta-da, here is the other shower uh, curtain. And I've hung up a lot of clothes here. I got rid of one of my duffel bags. It was getting torn up. Something's been eating my clothes. I think it's just regular bugs, you know, nothing, nothing to be worried about. I'm gonna get some cedar wood oil that will probably keep them out there. It's also good against uh, fleas and ticks. So when I get a chance, I'm gonna get that. I got mainly my winter clothes hanging here. And it's been hot. It's like 10 degrees warmer than normal, 10 to 15 degrees. So I've been wearing a lot of light clothes and those go here. And then, let's see. Um, my friend gave me a new mat and this is gonna work temporarily until I can get a four inch memory foam topper. I can't afford it right now, but it works good enough for now. All right, I got Salem tied up. So he can't go anywhere. He can go outside if he wants, but this way I can um, leave the windows open. I mean, the doors open and we got a nice breeze coming through. He has not been panting yet. The drier air definitely agrees with both of us. And so, oh yeah, the other big thing, I have not told anybody yet, but it's already known in Florida, I will not be going back. Um, I'm gonna miss Mike, but we're, we're, we've worked it out. Hopefully he's gonna get his friend Brian to move in. The humidity is too much for me. The drive back and forth between the west and the southeast is too much for me. And so I have decided to do this full time. He's got till July to find another roommate. Hopefully sooner than that so I can stop paying rent and utilities over there. But in the meantime, we're both honoring our agreements to each other. And uh, he understands that it's just too much for me. Um, and Salem doesn't like it either. And it'll be good for him to stay away from Ginger because he picks on her when we're home. He beats her up pretty bad. Okay, so here's the back. My wok, which has come very much in handy. My propane. Uh, I have my solar under here, my stove. And I'm going to put this table, this little table that I got from Walmart there. And, uh, hey, I'm filming, just to warn you. That's my friend, Tina. We're best buds. And this table is also gonna go underneath. Okay, so I can stack those like firewood. I'm keeping these cushioned because I got a leak in one of them. Uh, so they need to be cushioned. Anyways, I got all my important papers here. My shower stuff and, and medicine and toiletries in there. My computer bag is in this little igloo thing to keep it from heating up. I got my some of my other clothes in here. Cargo nets used for, I got paper towels, toilet paper. Uh, all my mining pans are right here. My umbrella, which I haven't broken out yet, and my sunshade because it's too... I haven't broken them out because the ground's too darn hard. Uh, we're going to be moving on to Lake Havasu in a few days. Um, I've I'm figured out how to hang my metal detector. I'm using Velcro. The other one's hanging from the hooks. So that's pretty much how it is. And then I have another... A uh, set of hooks back there where, with um, another uh, hanging net and some other stuff. So it's getting better. Yeah, yeah it hasn't been easy out here. Um, I've been in some pain, but not as much as I was in Florida. And uh, we have this beautiful wash out here. It's really nice. Look at this. I took Salem for a walk out here a few nights ago um, or days ago 
we there's a trail that goes down into the wash and we went down in there and he really enjoyed it haven't um seen anything other than a couple lizards a couple bats um there are b wild burrows in the area and coyotes but i haven't heard any coyotes over here or seen any burrows or rabbits <coughs> So that's basically what's going on. I am, to, yeah, I'm going to do this full time. I'm traveling with Tina and a couple other people. Um, and we're going to move slowly north through uh, Lake Havasu and up into Nevada as the weather gets warmer. And then she's got to go home to Montana. And uh, the other people have places to go. So I'm, I'll be on my own again for a little while. I've really made some good friends here and we have this wonderful fire pit over here and had a great fire you guys got to check this out there. check this out I know I've been babbling but I have a limited amount of time on this and I wanted to make sure that I got enough um, got everything said that I wanted said. I'm, I'm going to miss Mike, um, but I, I, I'm hoping he's going to be all right. I'm praying. So say prayers for him, too. Look at this fire pit. Isn't this wonderful? Well, we burned a bunch of wood last night, sat around for about two, three hours. Oh, it was so pretty. Yeah, and the stars are just really nice out here. Um... Okay, well, I think that's about it. Uh, I don't know when I'll be filming again.